If the partial government shutdown doesn't end today, some 800,000 federal workers will miss another paycheck this Friday. That would be the second time federal workers have gone without pay since the shutdown began 32 days ago. Senate Republicans proposed a bill to reopen the government last night, but Democrats are not expected to support it. Air traffic controllers are only some of the 800,000 federal employees working without pay. CBS 2's Haley Squires spoke with a woman who says her husband's lack of paychecks is causing struggles at home. You just feel on edge all the time. You don't know what's going to happen. It could go on forever. When it comes to the government shutdown, Tara McCarty says she never imagined today's reality. You know it's a possibility. There have been shutdowns in the past, but it doesn't... You never think it's going to go this long. You never think it's going to come down to this. Tara is a stay-at-home mom. Her husband is an air traffic controller at the Boise Airport. Do you want rice or just the chicken? This Friday will mark the second paycheck they will miss. It's all the bills for the month, two paychecks. We count on two paychecks a month. It's um, the mortgage. It's, it's everything. Tara says that things like eating out and going to movies aren't possible anymore. Every little thing that you do, um, you have to think about, well, is this going to be milk next month? She says her three kids, all under 10 years old, know the family is struggling. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> When we go to the grocery store, you know, we can't get everything. They know when they want to go um, do fun activities. It may be going to the library now instead of something else. Three, four, five, six, free parking. But there are some things that they can't cut out, like expenses related to their oldest son, cerebral palsy. He right now is doing some therapy in Boise. Um, we drive into Boise twice a week. The family had just bought a wheelchair accessible van days before the government shutdown. The first payment's due this month, and I don't know if we can make it, because if we do, I don't know where the groceries come from for next month. But Tara says staying strong at home helps her husband. You shoulder it. You shoulder shuffling bills, you shoulder um, clipping coupons, you shoulder all of that so that when he goes to work, he can be 100%. In Boise, Haley Squires, CBS 2 News. Now, later this week, some air traffic controllers will be handing out leaflets. They look like this and explain the impact the shutdown is having on the safety of the national air system. They'll be handing out flyers at the Boise airport this weekend.